Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I went to Paris for Viva Technology 2016. This global event brought together 5,000 startups with top investors and companies and I got to check out their up and coming tech. This video will cover the Google self-driving car, Cinematique, Pepperbot, Hallusion, and Aura X. The first thing I saw was the Google self-driving car. It uses five sensors to help detect objects around itself. There's a sensor on the rear, two on each side, one on the top, and one at the front. There's software that analyzes objects based on their size, shape, and movement pattern. It also predicts what the surrounding objects might do next. Now that's smart. After object detection, the software then selects a safe speed for the car, which means no more speeding tickets when in self-drive mode. The interior wasn't too spectacular, but this is only a prototype, so I'm sure it'll look snazzier by the time it's in our hands. The self-driving car has completed more than 1.2 million miles on the road. Two engineers are packed into the car for the test drives, just in case. So far, there's no release date for this car tech for the public, but they have partnered with Fiat and Chrysler in order to test the smart system in other cars. Here's a sad stat. Every year, 1.2 million people die because of car accidents, so this card should end up saving lots of lives. My one fear is that the car will become self-aware and kidnap me to sleep with the fishes. Moving about the show floor, I saw some cool waving lights. I kind of want the setup in my own house, like for the tech room. How cool would that be? I stopped by the Cinematique desk to check out the Touch Video platform. The Touch Video technology is built by both filmmakers and technologists. It works with any type of video content. For example, if you have a website and you link a YouTube video to your site, you just place the HTML5 layer over the video to activate the technology. How this works is you touch anything in the video you see, and those items would be added to a touch list. For example, if you tap on an article of clothing in a video, the touch list will bring up info about the designer or possibly where to buy the item. There's an algorithm that tracks the contents within the video, and everything is happening on the server side, so it doesn't add any weight to video streaming. Robotics is of interest to me, so I met Pepper, a railway service bot. She speaks multiple languages like English, Chinese, French, Italian, and the like. I could see tourists finding Pepper very handy. She responds to both speech and use of her touch screen. There's a camera inside the eyes that allows for face tracking so she can follow you as you move. In addition to rotating, she can also chase you around with an ax. Pepper's current mission is to provide info and guide tourists, but there may be an upgrade in the future that allows for ticket purchases. Oh, and she also dances. Look at her get down and groove. Holograms are always fun to look at, so I checked out what Hallusion had to offer. Or is it Hallusion? They're manufacturing interactive holographic displays for use in retail, museums, and medical training facilities. These are historical pieces from Iraq that have been digitized, but the images will be used in a museum in France. So if you can't travel but wish to see some art, you can do it this way. It's interactive via an app that you can download onto your smartphone, so you can read a description while looking at the hologram. For medical training, a 3D model is a lot more helpful than a 2D page in a book. As you can see, there's floating text that further adds to the learning process. I can't wait till some books become holographic. It will definitely make learning more fun. Hallusion can also be incorporated into stores. Not only is it a naturally eye-catching display, but stores can advertise their goods even during off hours. And since this is all interactive, you can use their app to check prices on items of interest. Last but not least is Aura X by Optinvent. What you're seeing is still a prototype. You get a pair of headphones with an added visual element that runs Android apps. It's essentially an Android tablet that you wear as headphones. This is the retinal projector which projects light into your eye, and that translates into a virtual floating image that's also see-through. I saw a video image of a Taylor Swift concert playing on these headphones. Not sure if you're into that, but some people would definitely enjoy this. The Aura X has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. There's a capacitive trackpad on this side of the headphone for navigation, but you can also talk to this device via its mic. You can use Google Voice as well as head gesture recognition. The first thing that you'd see upon turning this gadget on is an Android screen. You'd then use the touchpad to cycle through the apps. Tap on the pad to make a selection. Included is a front-facing camera for broadcasting real-time video to anyone you want. That wraps up my event coverage at Viva Technology 2016. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Joanne Tech Lover Facebook, Joanne Tech Lover again on Twitter, and Joanne Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle, JTL Cuteness Overload, and JTL Love Life and Advice. I guess that's all for now, and I'll see you later.